So now we're going to talk about schematic design vignettes. The schematic design vignettes are broken into two vignettes. There's an interior layout office space and there's a building design, schematic design. This building is a two-story building. It's a more complicated one. It's a longer timeline. The interior vignette is a shorter one, but it's very, very tight. Most people will think that the schematic design building is the more complicated, the one that's got all the bits of information, it's a longer timeline, uh, but it's actually not that hard. You can actually beat this one as long as you're on top of the program, the computer program, and on top of the information that you have to gather through. The interior design is actually a little trickier in certain ways, even though it's smaller and tighter, but it's because it's got uh, significantly less time, so it's much faster. So right now we're going to talk about the building, the two-story building schematic design, and we'll talk about the interior layout in a different video. So the issues are you have to follow the information really precisely and you have to do it quickly. You have a lot of time for the building design, but you have to keep moving through because there's so much to do. The other issue is there are a few very specific code compliance issues. Uh, this is not a comprehensive code review or anything like that. It's very limited, but you want to make sure that those issues that they're looking for, that you've really hit those issues and, and make sure you've gotten them all. So there's no reason why you should be scared of this one. This is actually quite an easy project to do as long as A, you've practiced the program, i.e. the computer program, uh, and B, you've uh, figured out a way to have a system for understanding all the information from the code and the building program that you're going to pull all that information together uh, so that you're organized and ready to go once the exam starts. 